Review, 2023 Cadillac Lyric gets in tune with the battery-powered future. The first battery electric Cadillac glides into garages and showrooms soon, and the 2023 Lyric crossover SUV feels anything but familiar. It's a revelation for a brand that's been saddled by some of GM's lesser efforts in the last decade and blessed with some of the most memorable gasoline-driven cars in its history in just the last few years. With up to 312 miles of estimated range and performance solidly in the grand touring genre, the Lyric will rub elbows with other Tony electric SUVs running headlong into the mix this coming year, the BMW 9 and Benz EQS SUV among them along with the Rivian or 1S all greeted by the early movers, Audi's e-tron and Jaguar's i-pace. There's a glow to the Lyric, a byproduct of the 736 LEDs that grace the exterior of the vehicle. Everywhere you look something is lit up, from the cool minimalist version of the Cadillac badge with the color removed in favor of light, to the polycarbonate black grille with numerous slivers of light that ring the sides and bottom edge. Instead of traditional headlights, nine individual LEDs are stacked up the Lyric's fascia on each side, the top three of which form the high beams and the bottom six the low beams. The taillights wrap far around the rear of the Lyric, creeping up to the D-pillar and giving it a visual signature even from the side. Colors will be limited, satin steel metallic or stellar black metallic will be the only two hues available at launch. It's an impressive design flourish, and also a preview of what's to come. The theme's top lines, clean surfaces, and distinctive grille are destined for future Cadillac EVs, such as the flagship Celestic electric sedan and three more electric caddies in the pipeline, including an Escalade-inspired model. Inside, the Lyric's 33-inch curved display combines the instrument cluster and infotainment screen in one pane. Unlike other large screens in other models, Mercedes Hyperscreen, for example, this is all one screen behind a single pane of glass. It's a showpiece, and it functions like the screen in the latest Escalade, but the presentation here is much cleaner and more futuristic with its seamless look. It's underscored by a strip of slim joystick-driven air vents, a column shifter, and door-mounted power seat controls. It's remix of vintage cues in a cool future think blend of a billion shades of ambient LED light. Sigh over the CT5V Blackwing's supercharged V8 if you have to. You'll get over it quickly in the EV era because the Lyric's electric powertrain has the potential for even more shattering performance. It's nowhere near that yet, but it's strong and swift in its initial edition. With a single-layer 102 kilowatts pack and a rear-mounted electric motor, the Lyric pushes out 340 horsepower and 325 lbft of torque to its rear wheels, enough for an estimated 0 to 60 miles per hour time of well under 6 seconds and for a full charge range of 312 miles. That's despite the thick Lyric's 5,610 pounds curb weight. All-wheel drive will be offered late in 2022 and will feature a dual motor system with upward of 500 horsepower, and likely, a 2-second drop in 0 to 60 miles per hour times, as well as a 3,500 pound tow rating. Cadillac programs in drive modes and a one-pedal option, but tucks them into the Lyric's infotainment system rather than elevating them to hard-button status on the dash, which speaks volumes as to the Lyric's capable but not enthusiastic intent. Tap the screen to select one of the three flavors of one-pedal driving, from strong regenerative braking that can generate 0.3G of deceleration, to a light level that simulates engine coasting. The Lyric sinks it all seamlessly with the friction brakes, but there's also a left-side steering wheel paddle that's pressure-sensitive and can control Regan, too. Another tap can flip the Lyric from tour mode into sport if you want, but it doesn't elevate the Lyric's slow low-speed steering. It's a long, wide car and it can require a half a lock of steering just to negotiate traffic circles and hairpins. The Lyric's ride quality overshadows its straight-line performance and its steering shortcomings. Without energy-consuming air springs and adaptive dampers, 
The Lyric's twin-tube dampers mind meld with a five-link suspension design front and rear to generate a level of poise that's closer to the complex electronic suspensions than it is to more basic layouts. It's a sublime ride, one that buffs the bumps in the road even when its stock 20-inch wheels swap out for available 22-inchers, without bounding or pistoning. At 196.7 inches long, on a 121.8-inch wheelbase, the Lyric falls somewhere between the X-T5 and 3-row X-T6 in the Cadillac lineup, it's about the size of a Tesla Model X. The doors are not nearly as oddly constructed as those on the Model X, but the door handles need to be pressed and then passengers must open them with a separate black flag of plastic, at least in front. On the rear doors, there's not even a flag, just a lined area on the underside of the door skin itself. It acts as if power closed doors were meant to be standard, but didn't make the cost or complexity cut. Instead of leather, the Lyric's upholstery uses synthetic upholstery in gray or black. The front seats are very comfortable, with plenty of support for both backs and legs. Seat adjustment controls have moved up to the doors, a la Mercedes, which Cadillac said allows for larger storage pockets in the doors. Below where a traditional console-mounted shifter would sit is also a large storage area that can easily fit a large handbag. The back seat feels especially spacious, with a plentiful 39.6 inches of legroom and ample headroom for six-footers. Two people will be comfortable, but the middle back seat cushion stands out and presses uncomfortably between the shoulders. A glass roof lets in billions of photons every second, and has what must be one of the longest sunshades in any production vehicle, one that can take 20 seconds or more to close or open. Behind the rear seats is 28.0 cubic feet of cargo room, which expands to 60.8 cubic feet with the seats folded good for at least five rollerboard suitcases. Two buttons in the cargo area can lower the seats, but they must be raised manually. A slim but deep storage bin sits under the cargo floor, but the Lyric has no front trunk, just a black plastic trim piece that hides the place for a future front motor. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.